Hello Year 4, nice to see you, missing you all. This is our second week of videos on YouTube. I'm going to carry on with Mrs Evans's one from last week. She was looking at addition. So to start off with, we're going to look at a puzzle. It's called Tricky Triangle Challenge. Uh, what you've got to do is you've got to put all the numbers from 1 to 9 in the boxes on the triangle so that each side of the triangle adds up to 20. Pause this video and have a go. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. It definitely got my brain warmed up. I had bits of paper, I was moving them all around and seeing where I went wrong and changing things. So, I've got one solution on the board. Uh, one of the tricks was to make the three corners add up to 15. Um, uh, but there's, there's a couple of solutions that you could have done, so I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, if you did enjoy it, there are lots of different ones on www.matsphere.co.uk that you can look at and try some different things. Okay, the next part of the lesson is we're going to have a look at a bit of a starter looking at mental strategies for subtraction. We're going to look at count on and count back methods today. I've emailed this to your parents on Parent Mail. It's a little game you can play once I've explained. So, on the grid there are some subtractions. Two digit, take away one digit. We're going to look at count on and count back. If you choose to count on, the two numbers tend to be quite close together and what you're doing is you're kind of adding on from this number to this number. So I'm going to put nine in my head and count on and then I know my answer is four. If you're looking at something like this, where the second number you are taking away is quite small, then you can count back. So you can put 15 in your head and count back four, getting you to 11. So we're going to look at some of those strategies when we're solving our starter today. If you have a look, it's got a grid on it, it's got some subtraction calculations on there, and you're going to need two dice. You're going to roll the dice, you're going to see what you've got, add them up, and then you could tick off on the grid one of the subtraction calculations that has the answer that matches the numbers on your dice. And then you can either cover it or you could tick it off. Pause the video, hope you enjoy it. Hope you like the starter. You could use that time and time again. You could do a four in a row kind of game with it and a challenge with either a sibling or a parent. Uh, now we're going to look at the main part of the lesson. So the main part of the lesson today is to subtract numbers with up to four digits using written methods. So what's the bigger picture? It's the same as with addition. When you're working with larger numbers, it becomes harder to work them out in your head. So a written method is an efficient way to calculate the subtraction of larger numbers. Some things that you might find useful for subtraction is when you're trying to find out how much money you've got left when you've bought something, uh, linked to your pocket money. Uh, it might be how much time you've got left to complete a task, or it might be finding the difference in temperatures. There are lots of different ways that we can use subtraction in everyday life. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the method now. Now we've looked at addition and subtraction before in the autumn term, and we've looked at our steps to success. So I'm going to go through those first, I'm going to put them up here. So, with our steps to success, we need to make sure that we're lining up the digits, thinking about that place value, so where should the numbers go. We're going to think about where we need to start. The same for addition, we need to start with the ones. We're going to think about what strategy we use, so could we count on, could we count back. And then we're going to need to see where we need to exchange. So we're going to follow those in order for us to be successful with our subtraction today. I'm going to start with my turn. So I've got 652 take away 324. And I've already got my digits lined up with the ones underneath each other, the tens underneath each other, and the hundreds underneath each other. I'm going to start with the ones, like my steps to success. Um, and I've got two take away four. Now, if I have two, I can't take away four, so I'm going to have to exchange from the tens. Now, there are five tens there, I'm going to cross it out, there are now going to be four tens, and I'm going to cross out the two ones. If I've got the one ten and the two ones, I now have twelve. Twelve take away four, I'm going to count back, so I've got eight. I can now move on to my tens. So I've got four tens, take away two tens, which gives me two tens. I can move on to my hundreds. I've got my six hundreds, take away three hundreds, leaving me with three hundred. 
So my answer for that calculation is 328. Okay, now, following the steps to success and my modelled, can you now have a go with a your turn? So in your books, can you write down 785, take away 428? Pause the video and have a go. How did you get on? Let's have a go at marking it together. So this is our check part. So five, take away eight. I know I can't do like this, so I need to exchange from the tens. I'm going to cross out the eight. I've taken the 10 away, so it's seven. I'm putting the 10 onto the ones. So I've got one 10 and five ones giving me 15. 15 take away eight. I know I need to add two more onto eight to get it to 10. And then from 10 to 15 is five. So that gives me an answer of seven. Seven take away two, I know is five. And seven take away four is three. Giving me the answer of 357. Hope you got that okay. Okay, now we're going to move on from three digits. And I'm going to have a go to four digit. Again, I'm going to do a my turn. So I'm going to start here. I wonder if you can see where the exchange will be this time round. So I'm going to start. Five take away three, I know is two. Three take away seven, this is where I'm going to need to exchange. So I'm going to go to the hundreds. I'm going to take one of the hundreds. So this is now seven hundreds. And I'm going to put it onto the tens. So there are now 13 tens. 13 tens take away seven tens. So seven until I get to 10 is three. And then three more makes six. So I'm counting on. Seven take away two, I know is five. And then seven take away five, the related fact there, I know is two. So that's 2,562. I'd like you to have a go by using the steps to success and my modelled to have a go with a your turn in your books. So you've got 8,716, take away 3,354. Pause the video and have a go. How did you get on with that one? We're going to check together now. It's another check part of the lesson. So we've got six take away four, which gives me two. One take away five I can't do, so I'm going to go to the hundreds this time and exchange. I'm going to take one of the hundreds, leaving six here. I'm going to put it here, so now I've got 11 tens. I'm going to, I know that from going from five to ten leaves me five. One more is six, so I'm counting up. Six take away three, I can count back, leaves me with three. And eight take away three, I'd count back as well, which leaves me with five. So my answer is 5,362. Hope you got that too. Okay. What I'd like you to do now is in your workbooks, I'd like you to have a go at the chili challenges. So, chili one, we've got three digit takeaway, three digit with one exchange. Chili two, we've got two calculations where it's a four digit takeaway, four digit with one exchange. And the challenge for chili three is four digit takeaway, four digit, but with two exchanges. Now, we're gonna do a laid approach, just like Mrs. Evans did. So start with chili one and go to two, and if you can, push yourself onto chili three as well. Pause the video and have a go at that, and then we'll check the answers afterwards. How did you get on, guys? Uh, this is a part where we can do a little check. Um, you can pause this video um, as you are checking and work, marking your own work. Uh, but I hope you remembered when you needed to exchange and what you needed to do and followed the steps to success. So well done. Okay. What can you do now you've had a go at this? Now, this week, the My Maths tasks, you've got three of them that are linked to this lesson directly. The first one is introducing column subtraction. The second one is subtraction columns. And the third one is more written methods. Now, this is the same as the one from last week. But last week you were looking at the addition, this week you're focusing on the subtraction and it won't hurt for you to do a little recap on the addition as well. So these are the three tasks that you can do on my maths that link directly to this lesson. This is the part where we announce who our champions are this week. And TT Rockstars, champion 44M is Finley, two weeks in a row now, well done Finley. In 4B it's Jaden, in 4EP it's Oliver and in 4S it's Harley, well done guys. I wonder who it will be next week. And the best class on my maths this week, two weeks running, is 4EP. Well done, guys. 
I wonder if it'll be another class next week. Keep up the good work. Okay, so this is like a bonus feature of the lesson. If you wish to do some more work, we can do some solving of addition and subtraction problems. Um, we're going to be looking at two step problems here. So you're going to be using all the information from my lesson and Mrs. Evans lesson to help you because you're going to be doing addition and subtraction. You can pause the video and then you will be able to press play again to find the answer. So this is the first question. Pause the video. Here are the answers. This is the second question you can have a look at. Pause it to work it out. And here are the answers. This is the third problem that you can have a look at. Pause it to work it out. And here are the answers. And this is the last one. Pause it to work it out. And here are the answers. Okay, guys, hope you're enjoying yourselves at home and keeping yourself busy and keeping yourself safe. Hope you enjoy. Bye.